hi Capricorn what's up what's up what's up what's up let's see what's going on with you guys Capricorn for the first week of February spirit guides angels what you got for my cappies for the first week of February guys welcome to post Venus restaurant great we made it we made it and Ven and Mercury is going direct on the fourth but guys give these planets a cup of coffee so it's going to be a little wonky um up until what your cards are chatty guys your cards are chatting so anyway the planets are going to be a little wonky until mid um no i can't take all of these spirit you're going to confuse my audience do you like how i talk to my cards is there anything else here no 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 What's coming towards my Capricorn? So yeah, as I was saying earlier, guys, the planets need a cup of coffee to wake too. So they can go fully direct and no mishaps. Also, also, I've been a bit MIA because I've been developing life path readings and I wanted to do tarot readings for life path. So I do these weekly, the zodiac readings, but for the monthly, I decided to do it uh, based off of numerology, the tarot reading. So it's off of your life path. Your life path is basically your date of birth reduced down to one digit because we're cycles one through nine. So whatever that is, I do a snapshot tarot reading um, for the whole entire month. And I just did February for the life cycles. It's something cool you can add on to layer uh, with your zodiac readings. So do check those videos out. It's different. It's new. You could tell me how you feel about it. Maybe they're for you, maybe they're not. I do prefer these as well, but it's cool. Those are only once a month readings, and they're just something you can add on to. All right, one more card, and it, we can get your reading going, uh, Capricorn. All right, so overall theme and for the week is the sun. Ooh la la, are we dealing with a Leo? The sun. Oh my God. Okay, so there's Taurus back here. There's Pisces back here. There's a bunch of stuff back here. All right, so you're happy right now. You're really happy, and this is going to be your overall message for the week. Uh, but I do have the High Priestess here, which is talking about some kind of uh, spirituality kind of thing, like intuition, uh, the manifestation card. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse looks like something had paused for a hot second. But give me a moment. All right, so look like in the recent past, here you are emotionally guarded, um, but you're trying to produce something into this world. You were trying to, whether this is a relationship, a family, something, a job, a career, whatever. Here's your person collaborating with you, whether this is work or love. But you didn't have all the facts. You didn't have all the answers, so you were being cautious, Capricorn. And this is somebody from your past, your recent past, all right? Um, you could have been dealing with somebody you were married to or somebody you had a commitment with, or this could be talking about your financial circumstance within your home. You were getting some kind of coin into your home, all right? Definitely, because here you are, single, uh, financially independent, and getting money onto your home here, um, which brought you in some kind of wish fulfillment, made you really, really happy. You felt like you were moving on, that you've been through the storm, you've been through the worst here, and now you've reached landfall. But now you've, you're pausing to reflect. It's like you turned your horse around and you're looking at something in the rear view mirror. You're trying to manifest something now, and you're using your intuition in regards to somebody you're kind of not talking to but that makes you happy i don't know let me see but the sun is going to be the overall message of the week capricorn let me see what's in your situation for the first week of february i have the three of swords in reverse and the ace of cups and the three of wands and the two of wands guys what's happening here because sometimes to me the sun is a reconciliation card and i don't mean reconciliation to a marriage this is like something like Look at this. Your heart is healing. You bandaged it. The swords fell out. New love is here. Somebody here is offering you new love. Look at this. 
Look at this, how it's flowing, right? Somebody has offered you love and now you're waiting for them to come back towards you. You're waiting for something here. I don't know who you're waiting for. And you're at a fork in the road. Do this, don't do this, do this, don't do this. Go with them, don't go with them. <laughs> you're doing something like that. What's coming towards you? Jesus, you're gonna have a passionate new beginning, but you also need to cut your losses. You're leaving something or someone behind in order to go towards this. So this is either a creative new project and you're leaving an old one behind me to make time for it. Um, others of you, this is you cutting out somebody from your past to do a passionate new thing. What well, you don't see coming is a queen of wands who wants to date you or have a reconciliation or becomes a third party. I don't know, but when I clarify, boy, oh boy, will I find out. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and here it is. Either they're your third person, or they're somebody you're dating, or this is somebody who wants a reconciliation with you. I feel like it's the former. No, it can be the latter. Yeah, this person wants a reconciliation. You don't see it coming. Your advice. Your advice is the Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Obviously, love yourself first, clearly. Um, but you need to seek balance here. And you need to make sure that this person that you're dealing with, it's fair and it's balanced. It's in your advice. Th this is when Spirit's telling you what you need to do in order to have success here in the situation. Because forewarned is forearmed. You could go ahead and do your own thing. Of course, you have free will. But if you want success in this situation, this is how you change it. The Six of Pentacles. You see the beggar? One's giving, one's receiving. It feels like this. So Spirit is saying, make sure it's balanced. It's give and take here in this circumstance. If somebody's giving you something, give back. Knight of Cups, make sure you are, you feel loved in the circumstance. You feel, but it's also saying, make sure you also share those emotions. Because Knight of Cups is a messenger who sends out messages of emotions. This is somebody who's like, hey, let's go out for drinks and have that conversation. Hey, you know, I, I owe you an apology. This is somebody who ovaries up or mans up, right? This is somebody who takes responsibility for their actions and they go do it with based off of emotions. And in your advice, that's what they're saying. Whether you need to extend an apology, whether you need to ask someone out for coffee or a drink, or whether you need to just do something to feed yourself and nurture yourself with love. You need to find restoration and balance in this situation. But Knight of, Mas Knight of Cups is like pretty much telling you it's what you need to do. You can back up your stability and tangibility with your pentacles on an emotional level. Outcome is, wow, judgment, death, and five of cups. What? What? Thank God this is just weekly readings, guys. I swear to God. <laughs> Because I pray to God the following week does not look like this. There's an ending here. And maybe there's a transformation. I can't wait to clarify this. Maybe it's not what I think it is. You're making a judgment call. <clears throat> the only thing I do not like is this. The Five of Cups. This is a pity party. This is somebody who keeps reflecting on the past. What went wrong? Disappointment, guilt, sorrow. Something that didn't work out. And because of it, there's an ending. A decision is made to end it because of feeling shitty over the past. I don't know. Maybe this is why how you make your decision here with the Five of Swords. Let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see what's going on. Maybe you turn around and you see those two cups. But that can also be telling me somebody's not letting go of what happened in the past. And that's affecting the future. That's why your advice is saying this. I don't know. Somebody's lacking the strength to make a judgment call here. Hold on. Let me have one more, please, for the situation. Strength in reverse. All right, much better, much better. Capricorn, this is you. King of coins. 
Ace of Swords. Maybe you're dealing with another Earth sign like yourself, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But you're having a fresh new beginning. This time it's based off of truth, honesty, and clarity. That's how you end up having this fresh new love. That's how this ends up being the situation of the week. Because you do. You have a conversation and you, you, you lay out your cards. All right? Because you, you man up here. Or you over-re-up, females. <clears throat> and you, you become grounded in the situation. Um, but the tower is at the bottom of the deck. This is like shocking to somebody. This is you like blowing their mind. This is you rocking their world. This is the foundation going away. I don't feel like this is completely bad though. I feel like this is like something that had to go away because what was in the past was a house of cards and you need real structure. And this is how it comes like this this is like ace of swords ace of cups this is like blowing your mind here uh, the, there's the third ace ace of wands there's passion there's love and there's there's conversations truth honesty oh you best believe look at the card that just spit right at my face lovers These are the two cards you always want to see together, like in perfect friggin' harmony. No joke. Oh my God, how amazing. It's just getting better by the card. Capricorn, what's happening here for you? You guys are, you, this is your year. I think from the whole entire zodiac, I think from the whole zodiac wheel of Capricorns, you are the most lucky when it comes to love this year. What is happening here? First of all, all right, here you are having a passionate new beginning, right? Because you needed to cut your losses. So maybe, I don't know, some of you in your minds, you're getting rid of exes in your head. Whatever was in the past, you're like, fuck off. Maybe you had a divorce in the recent past, you're getting over it. Whatever flings you had in the past, you're getting, whatever it is, you're making a decision to cut something here in order to go towards a new energy. That's what's coming towards you. So, and to have a passionate new beginning with someone. Look at this, this is a lover, Gemini. Uh, doesn't have to be. But this is you making a decision here, the both of you, because Archangel Michael put you two together. It's up to you to decide what you are. Because as it is above is below. They're like, you know what? Let's put these two cats together and see what happens. And here you are. Now you both have to decide if you are meant to be together or you separate. This is the scariest part when you transition from here. Because from here, where do you go? You either become a couple or you separate. Always. But look what you decide. You decide that you both mutually love each other. You mutually like each other. And you union up. You couple up. This could also be a business partnership, guys. All right? And you just jive. You just flow. Because this is your foundation. If this is a business partnership, this is your foundation. This is your company. This is what you're building. If this... You guys are, this is somebody you're going to get engaged with or move in with. This is like no joke. This is serious. This is somebody very serious that you can build a foundation with. Gets better by the minute. But what you don't see come in is this Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups. I don't know if you guys are, you have an ex that comes back and it just like f fucks your shit up or, and this is going on to the whole entire collective. This isn't just Capricorn. This is everybody. Or if this is just uh, the same person I'm talking about. Maybe. Maybe I'm talking about the same person. Somebody you might be having a small reconciliation. With. I say small because maybe, you know, you were just dating and you weren't dating. You were on and off. You just had a beginning and it didn't go anywhere. Now it is. Because the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, re rejoicing, celebrating. Some of you are getting engaged with this person because this is celebrating that good news. Others of you, this could be a reconcil Whatever, you're not stressing with this person. Let me have one more, please. Let me have one more. But they don't see coming for Capricorn. Holy crap. Whoever this person is. 
you are the king and queen of wands. There's this is passion. This is chemistry. This is a lot of fire together. You two. Somebody comes forward and no longer is emotionally guarded. They put it down and they come forward and they say something to you. All right. And maybe they were single. Maybe they weren't. I feel like you find this person desirable. They find you desirable also. But look at this. Somebody you had spent time and energy with. So. Wow. Three nines. This, whatever this is, this is going to wrap up. Because it's at the cycle of nine. Ten and then you're done. Um, I don't know if this throws a, 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 a rent, a, like a thorn in your side because you're dealing with this passionate new beginning and then somebody from the recent past might come back or if this is the same energy. Maybe I have two camps of you guys. Please leave me your comments down below. Let me know. And if you like and resonate with the content, hit that like, subscribe. It's going to help the baby channel that we are. Uh, Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, please. Page of Wands. Oh. So your advice is to definitely have that. And, you know, go towards the thing that makes you feel like a kid again, like a teenager, you know, like excited. Um, excited new adventure. But the Five of Swords is here again. And the Wheel of Fortune. You definitely need to decide what you want here with the Five of Swords. You lose some, you win some. You have to sacrifice something here in order to have someone. Like, that's the bittersweet card. You lose something, but you gain something. This is faded. This is faded union with the Wheel of Fortune. Just restore balance and emotionally engage with this person. High Priestess, you guys have a serious spiritual connection here with someone. Ooh. Let's see what this outcome is. What's the Five of Cups? What's death and... Um, Judgment, please. All right, so you are feeling a little guilty over something that had happened in the past, uh, is what I'm feeling. Maybe some of you guys were too focused on your job or at work. So you were reflecting on the past and you're disappointed over that, is what it feels like. Um, and that's maybe what cut off the connection with you and somebody. Yeah. Uh, because that person could have like left because of that reason. Um, you were dealing with an Aries, potentially, or somebody that was older than you. Somebody very kind of controlling, a little bit powerful in your perspective. Um, the Hermit here, Virgo. Cancer. Anything else? Scorpio. All the signs are there anyway. Um, so clarifying judgment and death. Yeah, this was in regards to a fire, to, to this Aries Emperor person. And you're trying to, you know, you took a time out. Or they or or Aries took a time out to think about this, to use their internal wisdom to make this decision. So it could be you deciding on this person. That's what judgment and death is talking about. Maybe feeling guilty over the past because somebody was just too focused on like their own agenda. And you were somebody was moving too slow in the connection in the recent past. So that five of cups back there is, yeah, somebody here is reflecting on the disappointment in the past that they dealt with this person. It's not really telling me what you're doing. It is telling me that you are reflecting on something emotionally and you are transforming. So it's telling me you actually are learning from it. Especially with the high priestess in reverse. Uh, high priestess at the back of the deck. You are getting some spiritual lessons from this. 
death is telling me you're and you're deading something and now you're transforming um and you are making a judgment call and you are using your wisdom in regards to this person the only thing is that you're emotionally reflecting on something from the past so in the extended guys let's do a bit of a deeper dive in this what you actually are going to do or in which direction you are going to go um and yeah that's that's what we're doing for the for the members the link is down below in the description box but let's pull some oracle cards before we go to cap off your reading and i'm also going to go in the extended from aries to pisces to see what your person thinks of you worth waiting uh yeah worth waiting for and you deserve love of course you deserve love that's what i was telling you before in your your um advice see this guy is drinking the cup this is you need to feed yourself love first before you can love anybody else all right that's why it's saying you deserve love and we'll clarify this with tarot um worth waiting for and free yourself right now you you've like locked yourself up because you're in hermit mode over here and you, it's and, and you're like trapped in your feelings let's get some advice please from the Moonology deck and we'll wrap up this reading. A new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, you're wrapping something up here and you're moving on. Because obviously, look what the situation is. There's new love based on truth, honesty, and clarity. But some here, but it's like somebody flips a switch over here. Confidence is key to your success. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo, maybe a Libra, I don't know. But a new romantic cycle is about to begin. Emotions are running high. That's exactly what I just got done telling you. Emotions are running high. That's this. This is this is killer, guys. This is killer. You don't want that. You definitely don't want that. All right, guys. I hope this helped. I will see you on the next one.